Hello everyone, my name is Samuel and I'm selling my converted school bus. First of all, we're French Canadian, so please forgive us if our English is not perfect. I spent about a year building the bus, I worked really hard on it. For a living, I'm a carpenter, so that part was not too hard. But for the rest, I really learned a lot and I had some help from my friends and my family. In Quebec, we have pretty strict norms that made it hard to convert a school bus to a Harvey. So everything has to be double checked, like the electricity, the propane, the mechanic, the passenger seat. Everything has been checked and approved by a professional, so that makes everything safe and durable. But I will talk uh, about all that stuff later. Hi, my name is Stephanie. We've been traveled in the bus for three months and we've done more than 15,000 miles around the United States and Canada. We didn't have any problem with the bus during our travel and we really enjoy traveling with it. But for now, we have other projects, so the bus is for sale. Let's do a tour. Let's start by the driving area. Here it's pretty basic. We have the engine right there because it's a flat nose. We have the heater for the cold days. Very important on a long road trip, the cruise control over here. We have the screen for the backup camera there. We can put our phone right there for the GPS. I changed the radio and all the speaker on the bus just to have a better sound and uh, that's pretty much it. Just right behind the driver's seat, we have the couch. The couch can easily transform to a bed. You just have to flip it like that. And boom, you have a bed. On the other side, it's the most important part of the bus. It's the passenger seat with seat belt. This has been checked and approved by Transport Canada. So it's safe if you have a children or passenger with you. In case of an accident, everybody will be safe. Uh, for the ceiling, I have a lot of questions. I'm six foot two and I fit just right on it. So if you're taller than that, you may have to lean yourself a little bit. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the living area. Let's uh, let's go see the kitchen. Here's the kitchen and the dining area. This is a propane stove. The cabinet door are made with recycled pallet wood. In those you can find plates, mugs and glasses. Of course, we have a sink for my favorite activities, wash the dishes. <laughs> Under the sink, we have the garbage and storage for cleaning accessories. A microwave and two drawers for kitchen tubes. The refrigerator is a pretty good size. We only change the cover for a glass. On the other side, in those two seats, we have many more storage and the table turns into a bed. Here we have a TV and a sound bar, so we can watch movie on a rainy day. Under the stove, you can see our carbon monoxide detector, because we have many things that works with propane. And this is a propane heater with many outlets from the front to the back of the bus. Before I forget, we also have a fire detector just right here. And we install a hair trap on the roof. And that's it. So these are the bathroom doors. Uh, I custom built these doors. Actually, everything you see on the bus is custom built. But anyway, I made them with pallet wood. And uh, we lock them together so they doesn't move while we're driving. But enough talking about the door. Let's see the bathroom. Welcome to the bathroom. This is a regular RV toilet. So under the bus, we have black water tank and in front of me is the shower. I really like the shower. It's made with ceramic ties and it's a pretty good size for RV. The size is 32 by 32 inch. So we have enough space to wash yourself. Just in front of the bathroom, we have a washing room. In here we have a little bit of storage, we have a little washing machine with a spinner. We really enjoy it, we did all of our laundry with it while traveling, it works super good. 
Here we have our cleaning accessories. So that's a really useful little room. Just behind the bathroom, we have a big pantry and a closet. The closet is empty because we're not living on a bus right now. But I just want to show you the safe box just right here. So we can put our precious things like passport, money, keys and all that stuff. So now we're on the back of the bus. There's an air conditioner on the roof. A double sized bed for cozy night. Here we have a TV, the control for the heater. Under the bed, there's three drawers, there's the batteries, uh, equipment, and even more storage. But I'm gonna show you all that stuff. This is under the bed. We have a sealed box with ventilation that contains four batteries. They are connected to a solar panel of 300 watts on the rooftop. We can also charge our batteries with this little charger there. We just have to plug the wire outside if we are at a camping or near a power source. We can also charge the batteries with the alternator of the bus while we're driving on the road. For the rest of the space, we use it as storage for store bigger things like our camping chair. We have a retractable ladder and stuff like that. Behind this wall, we have storage. Here we keep all our essential tools. And on the other side of the wall, there is all the control for the electricity. But we will show it to you from the outside. Here on the back of the bus, uh, I'm gonna make it quick. Basically, these are the breakers, the inverter and the solar controller. So that's all we need to get uh, electricity. That's it for the bus tour. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I didn't talk about the underside. So real quick, there's a black water tank, a gray water tank, two fresh water tank and a propane tank. But I will be more specific on all that stuff in the description below. If you're interested in uh, buying the bus, you can send me an email. I would put my email address in the description as well. If you want to help us, you can share the video. Thanks for watching.